Hog allows you to tailor your highlight settings, and I like to customize mine based on what my needs are when I'm using highlight to make position palettes. The normal highlight mode is to take the selected lights to full, no color, no gobo, all that, and that's great, but I also like to add a tight zoom so that I can really nail those focuses. So I'm going to set up the values I want to be accessed by highlight in my programmer. I've got my lights selected and I'm going to bring them to full, open color, open beam, and then bring in that tight zoom. Then I'll record all of that as a palette in my intensity directory. Don't forget to use masking to bring in all the values that you want. I don't use the intensity directory much, so for me it's the perfect place to store these palettes, but you can store yours in any directory you like. After you've saved it, right click the palette and select the highlight mode. Now I'll clear out and test this by grabbing those lights and hitting highlight. Next I want to make a low light palette. Again, I'm thinking about what my needs might be for when I'm making my position palettes. Let's say that I'd like to see the fixtures that are in my programmer but not currently selected go to a different color like blue. Okay, I'll set up that look in my programmer and record it to the intensity directory using masking again and then I'll right click on it and this time select low light. Now I'll grab a group of lights, bring them to full, and hit highlight. The difference now is that as I hit next to cycle through the selection, I'll automatically have the fixture I'm currently working with highlighted and all the others will go to blue. This is nice because I can clearly see the fixture I'm moving and I can also still make out the picture as a whole. Keep in mind that with low light, this palette is only applied to the fixtures in your programmer that are not currently selected. That's why I brought the lights to full before nexting through. I needed to have at least one hard value on all of the fixtures because if I didn't, then the console would have automatically knocked the remaining units out of the programmer as soon as I hit next. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of one focus using my highlight and low light palettes and another focus using only the highlight defaults. You can probably guess which one I prefer. <laughs> 